Hello, this is Simon from VoltonGuitar.co.uk and this is part two of my tutorial on how to play Asturias um, or Leander. Uh, now, from the previous tutorial we, we had got up to bar 24 so now at bar 25 we continue the piece by playing our B major chord, B major bar chord at the 7th fret. Um, how you play this is up to you. Um, I like to play it like a flamenco player with a rasguardo on the right hand if you can do that technique or you can use your thumb. Many many players use the thumb. In fact I think Segovia plays it with his thumb. Um, now that is then continued with the melody uh, and a tremolo played on the second string. Now this can create problems in getting the accuracy and getting your right hand back onto the melody note and that second string. So this is how I do it. Now at bar 25 we've just played our B major chord. The melody is now carried again but this time with a tremolo on the second string. Um, so what we do we play the melody note and then followed by two open second strings. Now the problem here is getting your fingers back on that second string along with the melody, melody note once you've played the, the, the chord. Now the way I do this, I play the chord and immediately get the thumb and the index finger back onto the respective string. So the thumb's got to get back to the fourth string, the index finger onto the second string. So I play the chord, those two fingers land together, ready to play the melody and the tremolo note. I also, as I do that, get the third finger um, onto the first string. It helps to stabilize the hand. So you need to practice that action. If you don't do that, you find it's quite difficult to get the accuracy with your hand just floating in space. So you need some reference point to stabilize the hand. Now, I play the tremolo note with the index finger and the middle finger. So I play the melody, thumb, index finger, middle finger on the second string. You can also play with the middle and index finger, not the other way around. The reason I like to start with the index finger rather than the middle finger is that in the previous bars we've been playing the arpeggio um, on the second and first strings with index and middle in that order. So I like to maintain that thumb index middle finger action on the right hand which would then be right to continue so from bar 25 we play our B major chord at the 7th fret now as I said before you can either play it with the thumb or uh, with um, a round squadron with the right hand um, and then we're playing our B at the 9th fret followed by our 2nd string um, tremolo we play the C at the 10th fret A at the 7th fret back to B at the 9th fret using the little finger this time so that sets it us up to play the F sharp next week with the third finger. So that's giving us
uh, and that bow is then repeated. So that's now giving us. <laughs> Now, at bar 27, um, we're playing the F sharp on the 5th string, 9th fret. Onto the 4th string again with A. B at the 9th fret. C at the 10th fret. Then up to the D on the 4th string, 12th fret. And now B with the 1st finger at the 9th fret. C with the second finger 10th fret and that drops back to our 7th position so the first finger is now playing the A B at the 9th fret now we're onto the 5th string G with the little finger at the 10th fret F sharp at the 9th fret and we're back to our uh, B major chord um, so that's now giving us And now uh, we have a repeat of bar 25 through to bar 27. Uh, on bar 27, there's an alternative way we can play this as well. So we can play the B major chord. The F sharp as before, A, B and C as before. But instead of going up to the 12th fret with the little finger, you can, if you want, play the D on your third string with the first finger. So that says you're having to move your left hand about. So you could play it like this. And then it means just modifying the fingering on bar 28 to keep it in that um, seventh position. Um, try it both ways. and Pick the, the method that you like playing. Um, right. So now... Uh, we're now getting towards bar 32 and this one uh, from bar 31 we've got our <laughs> we're back up to that uh, ten, 12th fret um, and then that's followed by the first finger playing the B and this is bar 32 so that's at the uh, B on the 4th string 9th fret C at the 10th fret. The A we now play on the 5th string with the little finger at the 12th fret. Back to the B on the 4th string. Now keep that finger down, this is important, otherwise you'll have problems in the in bar 33. So we play B, keep that on. The second finger will drop onto the 5th string, 10th fret to G keep that on because now we've got two notes set up for this uh, chord that's going to appear in bar 33 so then we play our B again so bar 32 is right now the chord in bar 33 uh, incorporates the G and the B which we've already got the fingers on and also those two notes are duplicated as open strings so we've got G, B, G, B and what we need to do then is add that little finger onto the first string 12th fret and that gives us our chord and we can play all six strings so that's now from bar 32 into bar 33 Right, um, so now bar 33, we're staying up in that ninth position. We're playing our B, which the first finger's already on, on the fourth string, ninth fret. The C, the second finger, fourth string, tenth fret. Back to that A, the twelfth fret, fifth string. Back to the B, remember, keep the two fingers on. Second finger on the G. So now we've got both those fingers lined up again 
ready for the cord um, in bar 34. again so that's a repeat so um, from bar 32 it's giving us right now bar 36 we play the A fifth string in fact all these notes are on the fifth string and on the very last melody note we actually move our first finger up to the 10th fret now this is in preparation for our bar 37 so bar 36 then is a 12th fret f sharp 9th fret g 10th fret a again G. So that's taking us now up to bar 37. Now, in bar 37, there are two ways we can play this. Uh, I've now adopted the version that I'm going to show you now, which is barring at the 10th fret, a partial across five strings, we need to leave that sixth string open. Um, so we've now got the third finger on the G on the third string 12th fret second finger on the B flat and the little finger on the E on the first string which is now giving us a chord of um, C dominant 7th and again we can strum it now this is important notice you've got the second finger on B flat at the 11th fret second string that finger stays on and is a guide finger which will drop us to the G on the second string 8th fret uh, because what we have now is a melody with an arpeggio where we're playing the melody note C at the 10th fret on the 4th string continued with our arpeggio sequence which is now playing the 2nd string and the 1st string open again similar to what we played earlier on in the composition. So that's now chord slide back. And then we play the D on the third string, seventh fret. G on the fourth string, ninth fret. C at the 10th fret. Open third string for the G. So that is Then what we do that second finger slides back up to that 11th fret put the other fingers down and we're now into a repeat so that would be times um, an alternative way and actually I learned it this way many many years ago 40 odd years ago when I learned this piece and many plays play it like this and Segovia plays it like this and that is to bar the chord at the 8th fret giving us a C dominant 7th chord so instead of playing it that way which is at the 10th uh, fret we play it as a C dominant 7th chord and you stretch the little finger up to get that high E which now would be a slightly different sound and then we have to play the arpeggio the melody in the arpeggio so we would then play 10th fret for the C stretch that little finger up to the um, D at the 12th fret and all the time with the arpeggio we're now playing is actually the third string and the first string. So that would be now, um, would be with the high notes on. Uh, 
Um, I've changed that. I always find, I always think it's a bit suspect getting the, the chord and actually getting that stretch. Um, so now I've reverted to the other way, which I've, I've just been showing you. Um, and also notice if you look online, uh, John Williams plays it that way as well. I think it, it sounds better. You don't have that awkward stretch on that chord, and you get it. I think that's a better sounding chord, and also that is easier. I find it easier to play, and it's clearer. And there's more chance of getting all the notes sounding. As I said, that version, and Segovia, you'll see Segovia playing that. Um, although both can be used, I just find the other version is easy to play. Um, right, so now at bar 40, we come to um, a bar um, at the seventh fret. So we have that finger across, put the second finger on the first string, eighth fret, and now the arpeggio um, is the second and first strings as before, but we're now playing the fourth string, which we're barring, that's the melody note, that's the A. We play the F sharp on the fifth string with the, little, uh, with the third finger. Little finger plays the G at the 10th fret. Back to the A on the fourth string, and then it's E, which you are already covering with the bar, followed by the F sharp. So that's. And then at bar 41, we're now back to a chord of B major. Um, now that's the end of this um, section of Asturias. And I will be seeing you again, hopefully, on the uh, continuation of uh, the solo. Uh, and I'll see you on the next uh, video. Okay. Bye for now.